The new official plan project was initiated in 2019 to create an updated land use policy framework to meet community needs over the next 30 years, looking to 2051. A five-phase approach was taken to complete this project by the provincial deadline. This is a brand new official plan, which will replace the current official plan approved in 2012, which is outdated in terms of conformity with provincial policies in the provincial policy statement and growth plan. Despite a global pandemic in COVID-19, which began in March 2020, we were able to keep the project on track and moving forward to meet provincial conformity deadlines. We were able to connect with the community by hosting virtual town halls, social media, email subscriptions, mail outs, surveys, and continued conversation. We were still able to engage with the community, stakeholders, and Indigenous communities, hit all anticipated project milestones, and submit a draft municipal comprehensive review and draft new official plan to the province for review. Phases one through four were completed. Moving into phase five of the new official plan project, the release of the draft final document incorporates all of the feedback, changes, and updates in the current provincial legislation. On January 10th, 2023, we received council direction to move forward in finalizing draft documents. Top four questions and answers. What is the difference between strategic plan and official plan when many of the themes are the same? The strategic plan will set the county's direction for the future and identify council's vision, mission, values, and strategic focus over the next five years. Whereas the official plan is a policy document that guides short-term and long-term community development, land tools, and helps manage growth throughout the county of Brant over the next 30 years. How do provincial changes like Bill 23 impact the County of Brant's new official plan? The province sets the overarching policy framework for all official plans in Ontario through legislation, like the Policy Provincial Statement and a Place to Grow Growth Plan for the Greater Golden Horseshoe. The province also sets out land use controls within the Planning Act, which municipalities must adhere to when reviewing, processing, or making decisions on land use and development. Municipalities must conform with provincial policies and plans, including new legislative changes, such as Bill 109, the More Homes for Everyone Act, and Bill 23, More Homes Built Faster Act. How does the new official plan relate to the transportation master plan and seek to solve parking and traffic issues? The County of Brant's new official plan has been drafted in coordination with the County's Transportation Master Plan to improve traffic and parking in Paris, improve active transportation connections, trails, sidewalks, cycling routes, and more, use traffic infrastructure as a key component in phasing growth, introduce complete streets framework, safety, walkability, efficient movement of goods, and more. With so much growth and development, how is the county protecting agriculture? The new official plan sets out clear policies to direct development and growth back to established settlement areas to protect the county's agricultural areas and agri-food network. This will help ensure the county's agricultural areas remain protected and can function for years to come. The policy planning team has been working with internal departments, Watson and Associates, stakeholders, the community, public, and consulting with Indigenous communities to prepare the final draft version for the county's new official plan. We are pleased to share a final draft with the community, including what we've heard based on the community comments and feedback. Throughout the project, you've shared your comments, feedback, and ideas, and we have heard what you have to say. This has assisted in creating a land use framework and policies to help guide development and manage growth over the next 30 years and build healthy, complete communities throughout the County of Brant. This final draft of the new official plan will proceed to Council for adoption and will be submitted to the province for approval directly after. Submissions will include the County's Municipal Comprehensive Review, Public Engagement, Indigenous Consultation, Specific Site Requests, and What We've Heard Reports. Once the province approves the County's new official plan, subject to any amendments, the new plan will be in force and effect. Thank you for participating throughout this project. We look forward to continuing to connect as we implement the new official plan through upcoming projects.